What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to Hypoxia. Now this is a new student project made in Unreal Engine 4 that um, I think it, it's incomplete as it is, it's just a, a demo, but it's a sci-fi western. It takes place on Earth after like all of the world's forests have been destroyed. So, like, oxygen has become the most valuable resource there is. And I really, really like that concept. But uh, I just wanted to check it out, see what the hell was going on. So let's just dive right in. Yep, deforestation on Earth has caused oxygen levels uh, to fall to critical lows. Depletion Day has been named as the first day where someone has died as a result. Oh, loud. Damn. All right. This looks pretty good. Are the little glowy bits, like, gonna be items or something? I have no idea what to expect from this, so. Nice mask, bro. Do I need to find someone's hand? Is that the first thing I'm gonna be doing? Is like finding finding somebody's. Uh, I bet it is. <laughs> yep. No. P is pause. That's a little weird. All right. Um. So I need to find a key card then. A yeah. These glowy bits. Um. Find a way to unlock the. Oh, oh, that is the key card. All right. That's pretty straightforward. Was there not? A, there's another glowy bit. What are you? Right, journal? R to open. Safety code first two digits, 84. Second two digits, depletion day. Okay, so we need to figure out when depletion day was. I, uh... Seems like we're, we are having uh, some minor frame rate issues. But this is Unreal Engine 4, student project, uh, with no settings options. So we will deal with it. Um, E? Texas Hold'em. Jack Six? What do we have on here? If ten... We almost have a... Flush. But Jack, the six is useless to us. What about over here? You have a nine and an ace. So you have nothing. All right, cool. It's one of the few card games I actually know how to play. <laughs> Music? Hmm. I'm getting kind of a like Western Fallout kind of vibe from this. Uh, can I jump? I can't jump. All right. At least space isn't jump, I guess. I just hit space, and when nothing happens, I assume that I can't jump. So, can we leave now that we have the key card? Okay. Is the oh, these are all oxygen canisters. All right. While from a scientific standpoint, I do have a, a bit of a. So we know that it's what eight four something. Okay, how do I get out of this? Um, I do have a little bit of an issue with the, the idea that there could be this little oxygen around. Because uh, literally all you have to do is run electricity through water. And uh, electrolysis will divide the H2O into um, 2H2 and O2. So... I like the concept, <laughs> I just, that is a big ass scythe. Okay. Whoa. Hey there, big robo bro. Are you gonna come to life when I grab this? Workbench key. Where, workbench. There, something in here? Did something open? What's, what's with the worky bench? What's going on in here? Can I crouch? I cannot crouch. 
Okay, it looked like that tried to open, but didn't open. So, I have a feeling there's going to be something around here that tells me when depletion day was. Are these openable? New? What's going on in here? I do like this kind of like saloon aesthetic going on here though. Can I get behind the bar? No. So when was depletion day? That just straight up <laughs> looks like an unfinished piece. <laughs> oh, that's okay though. That's okay. I can forgive shit like this in, in student games. All right, so if I open this up, uh, left click and drag, okay, so, okay. So if I pick this up and, oh Lord. All right, uh, I was kind of hoping that I could see a date on this somewhere. Uh, R to open. So I can't go any further and I can't rotate it after. Uh, well, my first guess would be like 84DD, which would be 33. Three. So what, 8433? Three, three? No good. Okay. Worth a try. So, how do we find that out? That's a lot of bullets. That's a whole lot of bullets. Door? Ah. A little bit of sound design on that door would have been nice to signify that it is opening you can't see any animations from the inside. Okay, so this is the only room that I feel like we haven't really explored all that heavily yet, but it also feels like something might have gone wrong with the workbench. Because I pressed E after I had gotten the key, and uh, nothing really happened. Like, it looked like this center thing was supposed to open, but it just didn't. Oh, there, there are just some straight-up untextured things in this. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So what am I looking for? Since the game does uh, pretty openly say that it is a demo and unfinished, I wonder if... It's even, like, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell when it's actually over, is the thing. Does that make sense? Like, I, I have a feeling the game might just stop before uh, I really get any indication of... Maybe we go back upstairs. Um, there are cards up here, I guess, which have numbers on them. Are any of these other tables interactable? Or is it just that one? Queen nine. J oh, it's different every time. Whoa, that's cool. Is six, seven. Ace-Queen. Four Ace. Four. Okay, so we're, we're getting different combinations of numbered cards, which makes me think that that's uh, not something I need to be uh, paying attention to. I don't... Is there like a, a dead clock in here somewhere that happened to stop on depletion day that we could take a look at? I don't know. I really just don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. 8402? No. Hold up. Uh, if I if I get out of this, I want to check that I get that first number correct. Yeah, so it is 84. Which means that given the uh, the brute force approach. There are only 100 possibilities. Eight, four, one, three. 
Wow, all right. I have no idea how I was supposed to find that out, but... Um... <laughs> oh, shit. What's going on here? See, there's some sound design on the door. Hey, I thought I might be seeing you. Uh oh. Okay, so uh, that that seems to be the end of the demo. I'm gonna jump back in and see if I can find somewhere that there is a 13. Because uh, no, this video is my feedback. Uh, thank you for making the game. Let's let's jump back in. Okay, so I'm wondering if it's even in the game or if it's in something like this part. So, following is a work in progress. Three feet. Studios. Hypo yeah, I guessed it might have been a zero two. So, hypo it says 2018 on the sign there. I do like this menu too. So if we jump in here, let's see what this says. Depletion day has been named the first day where someone has died as a result. So we don't get any number there. Oh, there's a newspaper there. And it shows us that right away. All right, let's take a look at that newspaper. Okay, so let's take a peeky here. Oxygen, oxygen lips. Okay, so I can't get close to the newspaper, but it makes me think that there's a newspaper somewhere around here that'll give us the date. What is this? Oh, that's the key card that we saw earlier. And we can use that. That's where we get the no... Oh, cool. So it actually changes every time. Interesting. So... That gives us 3-1 plus depletion day. But again, where do we find out what depletion day is? And is the, the second number set randomly generated every time too? Curiouser and curiouser. All right, so if I try and interact with this, requires key. So if I do this, uh, can I left click and drag you? Yes, but I don't think that has any clues on it. So now if I use this, okay, that opened up considerably more, but nothing else did. And it didn't show us anything. So... I still really don't know where we're supposed to find this second half of the code. Weird. So, overall, I th the strongest part of this is obviously the environmental and level uh, artwork and design. Because we have a relatively small space that still feels pretty big just due to this big open area. What is textured is pretty detailed, and there's a little bit of ambiance from the, uh, the sound design, but I think it could be improved considerably. There might, there are definitely some better ways to, uh, to draw a player's attention to important objects in the scene rather than just putting big glowy sparkles on them. But since we are just kind of on an item hunter escape room kind of situation, not bad, just not, not the best way of going about it. So 
I do think it lacks a little bit in terms of gameplay, in terms of sound design. The environmental storytelling probably uh, could have gone without the text at the beginning. Like, the number of oxygen canisters that are around here, the fact that you find fresh O2 in the safe. Um, I really think the, the environmental storytelling does a good enough job of letting us know, like, the thing that's wrong here is there's not enough oxygen. That, that's everywhere. There's ammo boxes and fucking giant war robots. This world is not well. And it, it makes that very, very apparent very clearly, uh, especially the fact that we're like in kind of a techno Western setting and we're wearing a, a like a rebreather or a face mask. So I, I, I think the game could do without the like expositional text dump. But I think that's about all it has to offer right now. I still have absolutely no clue where to find the uh, the date, unless there's like a TV or something that I can interact with up here. Because there's a lot of TVs downstairs, but I don't think there's one up here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The The artwork, the level design is good. The art design is good. The sound design is hit and miss. It's pretty decent in the cutscenes, but it's pretty bad during the gameplay. Um, and the fact that there's just a, a couple of objects in the environment that are blatantly <laughs> missing textures. Uh, but, but yeah, I think this game really succeeds in its environmental storytelling. I did have to brute force the safe, so that kind of sucks. But uh, we saw the ending, didn't we? So, you know, that's all right. But this has been Hypoxia. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coldfire, and I will see you next time.